Hey, this is Dustin with D-Link, and today we're gonna be unboxing the Wi-Fi water sensor and giving you a quick walkthrough of the setup process. Now, the Wi-Fi water sensor is a super simple device that lets you know when a leak has been detected in your home. You can place it near your washing machine, water heater, or under the sink. And when water is detected, the built-in siren will go off and you'll receive an alert on your phone or tablet so that you can immediately take care of the problem. Okay, so let's get started. In the box, we have the actual sensor, which is built to fit into any standard wall plug. Next is the RJ11 cable. Now this part doesn't detect water, but it is extendable. So if you don't have an outlet near where you want to check for water, you can purchase a longer cable. And here's the sensing cable. It's one and a half feet and the entire length of the cable will detect water. And last but not least, we have the quick install card. Okay, so let's move on to setup. Now setting up your Wi-Fi water sensor is an incredibly easy process. So once you've downloaded the My D-Link Home app, either create an account or log into an existing one. Now, once you've logged in, go ahead and press add device. Next, you're gonna take your quick install card and scan the QR code. Next, you're gonna plug your Wi-Fi water sensor into a wall outlet. Now, for purposes of this demonstration only, we're gonna be using an extension cord, but remember, we do recommend a wall outlet. After you've plugged it in, hit next. Then wait for the LED to turn orange and hit next again. So next, it's gonna ask you to press the WPS button on your router and then hit next. Then you're gonna hit the WPS button on your Wi-Fi water sensor and then hit next. Once the LED becomes solid green, you're gonna hit the green button. So after the app finds the device, you'll be given the option to give it a new name and a custom image, and then you're gonna hit finish. Now let's go ahead and plug the cables in. So first we're gonna start with the RJ11 cable. Next, let's plug in the sensing cable. Okay, so now that setup's complete, let's try this bad boy out. Yep, it works. We'll see you next time. Can I get a towel, please?